guys. Uh, got into another project. Uh, fixing my garage door opener. Uh, made by Chamberlain, uh, Sears, and Chamberlain, and I think one more brand is all the same. What happened was this gear broke in half. This what holds your lift chain. The chain that pulls your uh, door up. It wore out. The bushing wore out actually. And it rubbed this cover until it just broke the gear off. And the uh, door wouldn't open. The motor would just hum. It. But you can buy this kit to fix it. You can go to Sears uh, Parts Warehouse if you got one near you or you can go on eBay or something. It comes with the whole kit. It's got the gear with the plate. It's got all the bushings. Uh, pins, screws. It's got this other gear that goes on the motor. And that's that gear right there. Uh, in order to change that gear though, you will have to uh, you will have to remove your motor to change that gear there. You have to take the motor out, take this plate off here, and there's a set screw on the back side of this sensor pickup thing because it reads out of those uh, little sensors right there. Uh, let's see, can I focus better on it? So there's a set screw uh, right on top right there. I don't know if you can see that. But, but you have to pull all that off, pull the motor out. There's some screws. Uh, put that back on. There's some screws. There's like, uh, let's see, there's two right there, two eight millimeter screws, and then there's two on the other side back there. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna go, go through all that. <laughs> I'm gonna change the bushing, which is here. There's a bushing right there. Change that, and uh, I'm gonna put that gear package in, but that thing there, it looks good. I mean, the kit was like $35. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone because as you see, I got it suspended by bungee cords and I really didn't want to take it all the way down. I mean, because your track runs on it and that's a lot of work for one little gear. I mean, I don't see any teeth or anything missing on it. It looks about the same as the other one, so I'm going to leave it like it is. But anyway, uh, your chain runs on that small sprocket on top. And it pulls, hooked to a cable. And the cable goes into this pulley right here. So as the door is open, the chain is pulling this cable, which is pulling this track right here which this is your door this is hooked to your door you know that's your little safety pull uh so when you have that flipped in it's hooked into that hole right there and it's that cable and chain is pulling the door so but it's pretty easy job i mean if you got somebody to help you, it'll be easy. If you don't have any bungee cords, you know, someone to hold it. But I suggest if you buy yourself, get some bungee cords. I wouldn't take it all the way down. You don't have to. It's three screws that bolts this plate in. 
and they screw in from the bottom side up. So it's just three eight millimeter screws, and the holes are right there. You can see there. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna replace this this gear. And uh, hopefully I have my door open and back up so I won't have to pull it up manual. So I'll show you guys how it works when I get done.